everyone hope you're all okay right we're looking at decimals as fractions today so yesterday we looked at, a no at numbers looking like this 0 0.31 so just remember just to partition it for me what does this one represent what does the zero mean it's our ones column good then we've got our decimal place just going to call it a dp what's this column representing what is our three representing can you remember good our tenths and last one what does this column represent what is our last one we're looking at can you remember from yesterday good it's our hundredths column Can you remember when I gave you a hint yesterday about what our tenth looks like? What can you remember? What did we say a tenth is also? It can be a fraction, can't it? So if we know that about a tenth, what do you think we can do about our hundredth? What can our hundredth represent? Can you remember? Fantastic, year five. It's going to be one over a hundred. Super. So that means we have got, if we had our hundred square. going to go 10 by 10 so we know how many of the if we had them in squares how many would be colored in how many do you think super we would have 31 squares colored in how many would not be colored in year five how many would not be colored in so if we know 31 are coloured in, how many are not coloured in? What would you need to do? If you can't use your number bonds, you would need to do 100 take away 31. So what's 100 take away 31 year 5? Quickly, really quickly. 69. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic year 5, well done. Right, if we then had... The number 0 0.7, how would you represent that as a fraction, do you think? How would you represent, if we know that this is our which column, year 5? It's our tens, fantastic. How would you represent, we've got 7 tens, so how would we represent that? We've got 7 tens, super. We've got it, our numerator goes on the top, and our total would be 10, because we've got 7 tens. So we've got 7 of those shaded in out of the possible 10. So we're going to do one, a couple more. If we had the number 0 0.4, which number... And if we're trying to make it as a fraction, which number tells us how many, how many are shaded in year five? Which number tells us how many are shaded in? Super. It's our four. Because what is our four representing? Just to remind us, it's our tenth. So what goes, what is our denominator? Fantastic. We have got ten parts. Right, let's go on to the next board. Right. We have got 0 0.45. Can I make that a tenth now? Can I say that's a tenth? Why do you think not year five? Which number or which place value shows us that we can't use a tenth anymore? Good. We have got a hundredth column now. So that means it's out of a hundred. So just like we did with that square, 10 by 10, we had 31 coloured in. How many do you think will be shaded in here? 45. Good, year five. Fantastic. So you have got 45 out of 100. So 0 0.45 can also be represented as a fraction. So let's just test your knowledge. We have got 0 
nine. Okay, I've not got any tens, so does that mean it's going to be out of ten year five? If I convert that, would I say that's ten? Because I've only actually got nine, haven't I? But what is this nine representing? Nine hundredths. So it can't be nine tenths. We've got our hundredths and we've only got nine shaded in. Right, I want you to have a go at your workbook and see if you can complete those activities. I'll see you later. Bye!